streaming data is really not that much different than, say, the documents that you're already used to working with inside the database. It has underscore ID, it's, it's mutable, right? You can transform it, you can do stuff to it, whatever you might want to do. And then we've got an event. So you notice it doesn't have underscore ID, it has underscore TS. Okay? That's because events are things that happen and like that's what it was when it happened. It doesn't change ever again. You can mutate it all you want, right? Turn it into something else, so to speak. But at that point in time, that thing was always that way. In this case, it's some sensor data measurements. What is Atlas Stream Processing? Okay. Atlas Stream Processing, we just talked all about it. Built around the document model, flexible schemas. You can use MQL aggregation pipelines to be able to do things, right? The big key, what I would really emphasize here is that it's continuous. Every stream processor has two pieces to it. It has uh, a source, and this is like where you would insert stuff to read from Kafka or read the change stream from an Atlas cluster, and it always ends with a sync. Cool, what's coming up? <clears throat> so we're adding more cloud providers and regions. Azure's on deck, uh, and we're going to get Azure support out there very soon for everybody, along with more AWS regions. There is uh, external functions operator that we're working on. First, it will be for AWS, but basically, as part of your pipeline that you've created, another operator that lets you invoke a Lambda function. So you can write really complicated code if you want to. We're adding more metrics and observability integrations. So today, uh, there are some basic alerts available. There are so many systems out there that just speak REST, right? So just like the, the Lambda type operator, we'll take that message, but now to whatever URI you have created, we can do a git or a post or technically a delete and a patch and everything else as well is available. But so maybe you want to enrich a message with some type of embedding that you can make a call to something, get those embeddings back and continue passing it on down the line. Or maybe you want to do a post so that you can update some other system that you're running that, yeah, we've indeed seen this message and we've received it and this is what it looks like. We're using the aggregation framework to let you build these continuous queries. Uh, and you can get started today by logging into MongoDB Atlas. 